Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Monday, January the 18th. It's the second week after Epiphany, and today we celebrate the Confession of St. Peter. The scripture of this for this service, Psalm 66, John 21, verse 15 to 22. Please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice with all your tongues God's glory sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, make a joyful noise to God all you lands. Alleluia, Psalm 66. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Sing forth the honor of God's name and make God's praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit to you. And all the earth shall worship you and shall sing to you and they shall sing to your name. Come and see the works of God. God is awesome toward the people of the earth. God turned the sea into dry land, and they went through the flood on foot, and there we rejoiced in our God. God's might rules forever. God's eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of God's praise heard, which holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have proved us you have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net, and you laid affliction upon our backs. You have caused enemies to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay to you my vows, which my lips have uttered, and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Come here, all you that fear God, and I will declare what God has done for my life. I cried to you, God, with my mouth, and you were extolled by my tongue. If I have evil in my heart, you will not hear me. But truthfully, you have heard me. You have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed are you which have not turned away my prayer, nor taken your mercy from me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, 21, verse 15 to 22. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And Peter said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. And a second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said to him, yes, Lord. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. And he said to him the third time, Simon, the son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And Peter said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. And he said this to indicate the kind of death by which 
Peter would glorify God. And after this, he said to him, follow me. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? And when Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? And Jesus said, if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world. Please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and Paul and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray, hear us, tender God. That God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, we pray, hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of St. Peter and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray, hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear our praises, O glorious God. Soften our hearts and lead us away from all evil and heal, of us, heal us of our afflictions. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.